Today, Ashley, what are we doing? We are thrifting on the world's cheapest golf tour. That is right, guys. We're outside the Raleigh area. Not sure what specific town we're in, but we're going to go thrifting for some golf clubs, see what we can find. Should be fun. Let's get started. What is this? Golf ball sweet spot finder. Oh, this guy's cool, too. Chip and putt. Automatic ball return. That's pretty old. That's pretty sweet looking. Yeah, it's a cool box. Let's uh, look around here. Found him, guys. Bunch of different golf clubs. Ashley, I went and asked, they're a dollar each. So if we find anything in here, gonna be pretty sweet. I always look at the putters first. That one, meh. This one. It's like a fishing pole. What? what? I had an idea of doing this. They made a golf club out of a fishing pole. <sighs> Someone's already stolen my idea, guys. You'll have to master. You'll have to compare yours to theirs. Yes, we will have to get this for sure. Hogan. Ooh, I've been looking for Hogan's. What is this? This isn't a Hogan, is it? Walter Hogan, Infinity, 8 iron. Walter Hagen. Oh. Different person. Mm. <laughs> Forgive her, guys. Ooh. There's some over here, too. Oh, Hogan wood. Sweet. Oh, they got three wood, four wood. Oh, Hogan irons. Radials, these things are sweet. Been looking for these things forever. They're like blades, except they have a really heavy sole, so they're a little bit easier to get up in the air. So with my low ball flight, I could still hit them. And they have three through equalizer, which is their version of a pitching wedge. Definitely gonna have to pick these up. Good finds already, a fishing pole putter and some Hogan blades. I see an old push cart up there. Maybe that's a pull cart. I'm not really sure what the difference, well I know what the difference is, but I don't know how to tell. Another bag, another bag. Ooh, we got some, these think these are golf balls. Mixed. I think these are golf balls, why else would they have them? Oh, and it says golf and sports. That's pretty cool. Ti I think that's Titleist golf balls, how much are these? A dollar. Can't really open them because they're, got a bunch of tape, but. For a dollar, if they have one Pro V1 in there, it pays for itself. Two fifty. I'm not sure why this one's more expensive. Huh. We'll pick these up. See what's in there afterwards. A little surprise, surprise for us at the end. <laughs> Miller Lite golf bag and some golf clubs. That's what we came here to look for. Looking a little crusty. Another Infinity one. Ashley likes to call these Infinity because the eight is shaped weird. Oh, that looks like an old. Hogan sure it would go good with my blades, but it's not. <laughs> Guys, I think I might have found a hidden treasure in here. Normally vintage golf clubs aren't worth anything, but I have a feeling this one is. It's an old Wilson hand forged Pinehurst edition putter. This could be worth something. It's got the original grip, all of that. It feels like a wooden shaft. I have a feeling this might be worth something. Didn't really find anything else of interest in here, so I think we're gonna pick this up depending on the cost and uh, check it out later. We actually just looked up that putter that we bought and it's worth like what? Like 30 or 40 dollars. 30 or 40 dollars for that old Wilson putter so that's definitely going to pay for our lunch. Well especially since I got it for a dollar. Yeah so it was a dollar. <laughs> uh, those golf balls were a dollar then 250. We're gonna open those up later but right now guys we have a PTO thrift store which is attached to a Salvation Army so two thrift stores in the same building. Yeah. This could be good. Found some golf clubs already straight to the back. Let's see what we got here. Tommy Armour 3 wood, weird old, that's a 15 degree hybrid? What is this? No idea. Got a full set of US Kids Golf Clubs over here. That's pretty cool. Not sure how much those are, but those things are expensive. Oh, here's an old Adams Tightlize driver with the best shaft ever made, the Pro Force Gold. I have found a matching sand wedge to my Pure Spin 60 degree. Still haven't uh, done a challenge with those, but might have to pick this up, have a 60 and a 56 to see how much these still spin. They're like 15, 20 years old by now. It wasn't anything in the first one really worth getting. That pure spin wedge actually had some not a good grip, so we didn't end up getting it. Look who we Get found, guys. Bag. Got a Hogan staff bag right here to go with our Hogan irons that we found. And ask how much this is. Also, oh, what is head that? Covers. St. Andrew's head covers. St. Andrew's old course head covers. What's under here? Mm, yeah. Head cover is definitely worth more than that club. Oh, this See if we can't get a... Uh, out of sight. That's where you hit him. Out of sight into the woods. <laughs> the 
old course St. Andrews head cover is probably, uh, probably a good deal. See how much this bag is plus these head covers? Yeah. Might be going home with a uh, whole vintage setup of Hogan clubs. I've got a Hogan wooden driver at home, so we could do a whole Hogan challenge. What are your thoughts? I'm down. We're already upgrading, guys. I found a Hogan metal wood, too. So uh, I don't even have to play the wooden one. $1.99. $1.99. Have to get picked that up. I stepped outside to uh, check my phone, and Ashley has some news. I just wanted the head covers, but they're actually going to sell us the entire bag, everything you saw inside for $4. With the bag? With the bag. Can't beat that, guys. Let's go get it. <laughs> I think we're good on uh, vintage golf clubs for a while. I've start the vintage golf uh, tour. <laughs> Pretty sweet bag. It's really heavy, but uh, the clubs are not really worth it. But for four dollars, yeah, probably sell these uh, head covers for five dollars a piece. Plus this whole bag. It's gonna look pretty snazzy on the golf course. Yeah, I tried to negotiate her a dollar a piece for the head covers, and I basically got the entire bag for a dollar. Then <laughs> can't go wrong. Thrift shop tractor supply and on the other side of tractor supply thrift shop it's all you need in life guys you need to pimp your pims i got the hookup found some golf clubs and they are shiny guys Let's see what we got not that many but wilson pro staff fake two ball no idea oh they're all in individually priced that's usually not a good sign someone spent some money on this bears bag it's probably like a I don't know, 70 or 80 bucks new. It says it's a golf suitcase. Golf suitcase, whatever that means. Probably put your shoes and stuff in there in the back of your car. Oh, yep. We might actually need that. How much is that? It is 12.50. Yeah, that's a little steep. Yeah. Let's move on to the next thrift shop. Next thrift shop, golf clubs are 50 cents each. Golf bags are two bucks. So pretty much anything you buy here is gonna be a good deal. Right off the bat, Mizuno Tezoid nine irons. Those things are good. If you're ever looking for some old forgiving irons, go with that bag right there. Ashley sized bag. <laughs> if you're ever looking for forgiving old irons, go with the Tezoids. That's what I was going with. The 400th fake Callaway Club of the Day. These are all looking pretty. A Higgins. Never heard of that. Wilson. Oh, this is no this is a Maxfly Revolution. These are supposed to be some of the softest blades ever made, even though it's a cavity back. I don't know why I said blade. Oh. We could have a full set of these Maxfly Revolution irons. I got the five and four. Four and five. What else we got? Guys, I can get a junior version of my Hogan radial irons, but Aww. it's missing a grip. I think we're still gonna get that. It's 50 cents. I can get a grip for like four bucks. I'm gonna buy that That's just to cute. have a little junior set. We scoured through there, guys, and could not find the six iron to the set. Plus, these are actually the older version. They're not the Revolutions. These are the Tour Limited Forge ones. Still a good uh, offering, but without the six iron, they're not really worth that much. Probably could piece them together, but shipping costs would get crazy, and I don't really feel like hitting them, so I'm not going to get them. Probably got time for, like, two more stores. What do you think, Ash? Let's do it. Let's do it. There's going to be a Scotty Cameron in there waiting for us. That was the cleanest Goodwill I've ever been to. But they had zero sporting equipment. Not even like a tennis racket. Nothing. That was strange. Huh? One more story, guys. Not feeling the Goodwills here in uh, North Carolina, to say the least. No offense to North Carolina. So <laughs> my bad. I feel your pain. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. A little bit of thrifting in the Raleigh area. We are out playing night golf right now with the Hogan clubs that we found, the golf balls we found. Uh, overall, pretty good day of thrifting if you are a Hogan fan like me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the North Carolina Goodwill is kind of lacking. One of them didn't have any golf clubs or sporting goods at all. Ashley, your thoughts? Um, it was interesting today. It was definitely a grind. You definitely can't a grind. You have treasure finding days. Yep, we, uh, I found treasures. I'm a big Hogan fan oh, okay. and I'm excited to play them. So uh, guys, hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see the night round of golf with the Hogans. We'll see you next time. Oh, oh, oh. These things are kind of hard to hit. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, on both. Nothing better than the feeling of a forged iron, but there's nothing worse than blading a blade, if that makes sense. Ashley's over there. Oh, 
Ashley's found uh, herself in a bit of bother over here, but she's taking putter out of the bunker. I'm not sure if that's the correct play, but we're going with it.